Hello there, kids. It is I, Stray Cat, the one and only, coming with another episode of Knights of the Old Republic. Alrighty, when we left off, we were deciding which planet we needed to go to first, and I'm thinking, because if you hit right on the directional stick and it goes in this order, I'm thinking that's the order we have to go in. Uh, Tatooine would be first. Right after Dantooine. Off we go. And hyperspace. There we go. Uh-oh. That doesn't look good. This all looks very shadowy. Lord Malak, the Star Forge is operating at 200% capacity, far beyond our expectations. I am more interested in the young Jedi Bastila and her battle meditation. Have you learned how she escaped the destruction of Taris? She was aided by Karth Onasi, a decorated war hero of the Republic and a legendary soldier. During the Mandalore Wars, he was honored many times for his bravery. You know this man? Yes, Lord Malak. He served under me when I still followed the Republic. You could say I was his mentor. Interesting. How did you acquire this information, Admiral? An eyewitness, Lord Malak. Oh. Kalo Nord, a bounty he hunter. He survived? Bastila and Karth escaped the planet. Apparently, they left him for dead. A Jedi and a war hero. It's a wonder you survived the encounter. I am hard to kill, Lord Malak. Clearly. Kalo agreed to help us capture the young Bastila for a very hefty fee, of course. But I assure you, he is well worth the price. His reputation as a bounty hunter is well earned. Her companions are nothing to me, Kalo. But I desire the young Jedi taken alive, if at all possible. Lord Malak, forgive me. There is something else. May we have a private audience away from the ears of the common soldiers? I trust you are not wasting my time, Admiral Karath. I promise you will be very interested in what Kalo has to tell you about Bastila's other companions, Lord Malak. Is mission possibly more of uh, um well maybe maybe Zalbar? I'm nothing interesting. Surrounded by old very, very old. Looks like statues and pottery and shit. There's the star map. Should be on this planet. <sighs> the wretched hive of scum and villainy. I'm assuming. Because it's Tatooine A and B, this does look like Moss Eisley. No. Oh. The Force has given us okay. a vision, like the one we shared on Dantooine. Did you see it? Mm -hmm. Of course. You must have. The Force is strong with us both. Yes, I... is known for little but blowing sand. I find it surprising that there would be a star map somewhere in its desolate wastes. It looks like it was inside some kind of cave. Maybe Tatooine wasn't always a desert. Perhaps. Though that would have been tens of thousands of years in the past. Now there's Fair nothing enough. but the howling emptiness of the Dune Sea. The star map would likely have to be within some kind of shelter to protect it against dust and sandstorms. And I suspect hmm. there are many such caves and caverns hidden in the sands of the Dune Sea. The creatures of this world probably use them as their lairs. No doubt things Maybe. will become more clear once we discover the star map's location. I guess we still have to go look for it before we can find out. Sounds like a plan. <clears throat> Throat still acting up, I do apologize. I'll be clearing it every once in a while, trying to keep it relatively quiet. 
Um, I was checking our supplies in the cargo hold. Something's not right. What do you mean? Someone's been into the emergency stash of food. Mission and I asked everyone, but no one knows anything about it. You might want to check out the food stores the next time you're in the cargo hold. Okay, do we have pests? Do we have rats in here? Strangely, the food storage seems to have been disturbed recently. No one in the party would have done this, so there must be some other explanation. There are no half-eaten or torn packages to indicate theft was from pests or vermin. It looks more like some unknown person has been conducting clandestine raids into your stores. So it isn't pests or vermin. Okay. Whoever the thief is, they managed to avoid detection by you or your companions so far. Maybe a thorough sh uh, search of the ship will reveal the stowaway. There was this little uh, compartment here. I can't get into it. Hmm. Maybe if I just walk around. You think you hear the soft patter of footsteps behind you, but when you stop... Uh... No. Nothing in the cargo hold. I can't walk out the cargo hold, apparently. But when you stop to listen, they disappear. Soft patter of footsteps behind you. You hear the echo of footsteps coming from the direction of the cargo hold. Kipuna, bona na kichu. Ah, no, na abds, na abds. And it doesn't even match anything she's saying. Little girl, where did you come from? Salima wanga kunbi. No abs, ni hoot badlizal. Wait, what? Na abds, mi hoot badlias. Ants. Calm down, little girl. I won't hurt you. Oh, that's a line. <laughs> that's a weird line to be saying. <laughs> FBI, open up! Okay. Uh, <laughs> I don't understand what you're saying. You, you ba me nabs? I still don't understand. She frowns and looks at you helplessly. <laughs> it's all it's already a little weird. Just some random little girl on my fucking ship. Um, Sasha. Wait. Well, this does give us a little clue. You have encountered a young girl on board the Ebon Hawk. Obviously a stowaway. The language she speaks, while sounding like Mandalorian, translates into pure gibberish. She may know the language, but she certainly doesn't know how to use it. And yet, it seems to be the only language she knows. It might be possible to try and talk to her, but dumping her on the planet is also a possibility. Um, the name Sasha is familiar. Yuba <laughs> Mikapsi? Does the name your Arka ring a bell? What about Rundil or Sulim? Girl looks at you quizzically, not understanding. Okay, well, I guess that's a no. Where are you from? Can you tell me that? Not understanding. Okay. Can you tell me your name? My name is Farron Khan. You are? Wabasusa Sasha. Okay. Sasha, your name is Sasha, right? She nods. Wabasusa Sasha. That's just not what she's saying at all. This is the generalized alien tongue. Um, trying to learn Sasha's strange language. Sasha no... Eswan in Brinstag. Bristag. Bristag me lasfa. Lasfa. 
Many of the words you're speaking are Mandalorian. Kipuna. Mandalori. Mandalori is Nagondisen. Mandalori abs. Mandalori. That's your word for Mandalorian? So you do know of them. Mina Esawan Mandalori. Mandalori abs. I can understand Mandalorian, but your words are all mixed up. Uh, where are you from, Sasha? Terrace? How did you get on the ship? Uh, just, just try to learn. Esawan, not Esawan. Me, Esawan. I see you or you see me. Hides her face behind her hands for a moment. Me, not Esawan. Okay. Esawan is C, but not Esawan is high. Yuba Esawan no Gis. I didn't get all of that, but sure. Um, Lesfa. Everything is safe? Is that it? Points to one of the Ebon Hawk's service panels. Me Lesfa. Istinqui in Lesfa. You sleep there? Lesfa means sleep? Kipuna. She gestures around her. Bristag me lesfa. The panel, all of this, it's your home. Lesfa means home. Okay. Sasha na eswan in Bristag. Bristag me lesfa. What is Bristag? Bristag. Bristag me lesfa. It's a thing? Something around here? This girl waves a hand about making a swooshing sound. I mean, starship. Bristag! Shasha na S1 is Bristag. Bristag ni Lesva. Uh, you're hiding in the starship. It's your home. Okay. Yuba gon disen. You said that before. What is gon disen? Yuba gon disen. Something about me, but what? Smiles and pats her chest. Gone decent, me. Something you like. You like me? You like me. Okay. <laughs> Fucking the FBI are planning to destroy my door as I speak. Jesus, this is weird. Okay. Um. Not abs. You said that when I first found you. Kipuna. Bonana Slaps her leg. Abs. Me abs. Uh, abs means hit. Is that it? Kipuna. Bonana Slaps her leg again. Abs is na gondisen. No like abs to hurt. Na is assumingly no or not. Abs is to hurt. Na abs means not hurt. Is that it? Yuba na abs. Yeah, no, I'm not going to hurt you. Okay, now I'm having more words come out. Um, <laughs> yum. <laughs> what kind of word is that? Um, usually it's an onomatopoeia. Um, <laughs> uh, no, that's not it. What the, what the fuck am I thinking? My brain broke for a second. I noticed my phone was uh, shining for a thing. Uh, give me a second while I figure out what that is, and then I'll come back and be less stupid. Okay, now that I'm back, I can say, no, that wasn't the fucking thing that I thought it was. My uh, brain is fucking stupid. Um, <laughs> what my brain meant to go to was... Uh, Actually, no, I don't even know what my brain meant to go to, because I don't remember what it would technically be called. <laughs> anyway, uh, neither here nor there. Uh, what kind of word is that? Uh, me, me aunt's kissed a one you. It's part of the ship, a room. Food. Yum. Yum is for food. Duh. 
Of course it's for free. Me ants kesta wan yum nugis. Is that all one phrase? Nugis? Thinks for a moment and then stabs downward several times with her finger. Me capsi nugis. Nugis means floor? Mina Capsi Nugis. Um, you're talking down? You're not speaking now. Nugis means now. Na Nugis is not now or before. Nugis. <laughs> he wants some food now. You want some food now, you're hungry. Tabid mi yuba. Tabid you? What do you mean? Yuba capsi tabid mi yuba. Tabid mi yuba. Um, wow, this doesn't make any lick of sense. I'm just, I'm baffled. Um... Huh. Like tapping my headset trying to <laughs> figure it out. Um. You want me to tell you a story? About what? Yuba. Tabad me Yuba. Tabad means tell me about it. Okay. Uh, you want to know about me, do you? Tabin me Yuba. Okay. Communicate with Sasha in her language. Yuba me capsi nugis. Uh, there's someone who will take you home. Lur arca kestawan nu... Lur arca kestawan you lesa. Mi palki lesa? Mi palki datuin? Uh, if Lurarka is still, if Lurarka is still there, we'll see. Okay. Um, after considerable effort, yeah, no kidding. You have managed to communicate with the young stowaway, whose name appears to be Sasha, and learned what she was doing aboard the ship. Apparently, she was once held by the Mandalorians long enough to learn their speech, but nothing else. And she escaped from them long enough to stow away on the Ebon Hawk and hide. Her original home seems to be Dantooine. Perhaps someone there could help her. Alright, I guess we'll uh, go do that. We'll fly back to Dantooine. Because that is totally a thing we should do be doing. Getting this girl off my god's damned ship. There we go. Okay, so. Do that, just so she's not on our ship. This music sounds not great. Oh, because we're being attacked. Okay, well. Guess we're going to be doing this now. Okay. All right. Got you. Just trying to leave the shot with this. God damn it. Well, I got you anyway. Alright. There's no real health bar, I've noticed, on uh, this particular sort of thing. Well, I got you anyway. Just a little bit. Gotcha. Shit. Alright. 
Gotcha. Oh. That sun is really, really hard to see through. Okay. You fuck. Oh, Jesus. There we go. All of them dealt with. Yeah, you can't really tell if there's, you know, heavy amounts of damage going your way or not. Also, I like how the, M <laughs> the FMV froze for like half a second there. Kind of freaked me out that the game was going to crash or something. And I assume we hyperdrive to the planet now. Yep, okay. Just a quick drop off and then we get back to tattooing. <laughs> back to the normal route which we were taking before. Alright, that was weird how they just kind of phased into being, but okay. Alright, let's get off the ship. Take Sasha with us, I guess. Eventually. Um, Juhani... And the mission. There we go. We need to level up Juhani anyway. There we go. See? Um Mission, is that you? It's me, Lena, remember? I was dating your brother back on Terrace. Lena? Lena? What are you doing here? Where's Griff? I'm just passing through. Griff and I broke up a few months after we left Terrace together. Probably for the best. Your brother can be charming, Mission, but he's bad news. Don't you start oh. trashing my brother, you cantina rat. Whoa! You come back or I'll smack you so hard your head tails will pop off. Oh my. Mission, what's wrong with you? Why are you acting this way? Mission gets a little worked up when it comes to her brother. Yeah, I know how she feels. Griff can be pretty frustrating. I guess that's why Mission didn't want to come with us when we left Terrace. You liar! Griff told me that you didn't want his little sister tagging along. That's why he had to leave me behind. Is that what the hut spawn told you? I wanted you to come with us, Mission. I even offered to pay for your ticket. Why not? I paid for everything else while I was with that freeloader. But he told me you didn't want to leave oh. Terrace. I said we shouldn't even go then. But he said we'd come back and get you after we struck it rich on Tatooine. Just another one of his lies. No, oh. you're the one who's lying. Griff wouldn't... He wouldn't try to leave me behind. Maybe he thought you were better off on Terrace. Or maybe he isn't the man you thought he was. Think about it. If Griff wasn't trying to ditch you, Mission, then why didn't he tell you where we were going? After we left Terrace, he told me looking after you was holding him back. Griff's always looking to blame other people for his own problems. That's why he abandoned you. He did the same thing to me, too. As soon as I ran out of money, he started blaming Whoa. me for all of his problems. Like it's my fault his get-rich-quick schemes never work out. Um, kind of sounds like you're better off without him, honestly. You damn well know it. He's nothing but a sleazy scam artist. If Mission knew it was good for her, she'd forget he ever existed. Whoa. But Griff is my brother. I, I just can't pretend he doesn't A little exist. rude. If I mean. If he was here to defend himself, Lena wouldn't be saying all this bad stuff about him. Okay. okay. If you want to talk to Griff, go ahead. Last I heard, he was going to make a fortune working the Zerka Corp mines on Tatooine. But as far as I'm concerned, he's out of my life forever. Chris is better off without you anyway, you table dancing, brother stealing, home wrecker. Wow. I guess that's my cue to leave then. I didn't mean to Whoa. Upset mission. But one day you'll see I'm right about your brother. I only hope it's not too late by then. Well. That was super catty there, mission. Also, wow. Apparently, Big Brother is a bit of a skeezy asshole. Bit of a dick. Just a little bit. Wow. Okay. Um. Sulas, greetings, sentient. May I take a moment of your time for a question? Uh, go ahead. I represent a human de citizen of Dantooine by the name of Rundel Otsuli. His ranch has had considerable difficulty with Mandalorian raiders for many years. 
His young daughter was kidnapped by those raiders many years ago and has not been returned. Might you have news of her? Her name is Sasha. There is a stowaway on my ship by the name of Sasha. This is most exciting news, Sentient. Are you certain of this? You can come on board and see her if you like. Uh, she's only able to speak a smattering of Mandalorian, but I was able to figure it out. You have convinced me, Sentient, that your stowaway is indeed the one I seek. Would you allow me to see her? Yeah, I'll bring you on my ship. Let us go there now. I'm most anxious to see her. Well, okay. <laughs> that was weird. Though you have aged, young sentient, I do believe you are indeed the one I seek. I am here to return you to your father. You but not abs? I see that Fern Khan was correct about your linguistic difficulties. I am positive that your parents can assist you with that. Mi ablias. Okay, I couldn't catch that fast enough. Calm yourself, child. I will take you home. Sasha no eswan in bristag, miss bristag mi lesfa. Yeah, trying to say all of that quickly is not easy. Luraka na abs, nagisen lesfa, Sasha. Lesfa, mi pauki lesfa, bristag. Okay. Didn't understand that either. Thank you for your assistance, Sentient. I'm sure the girl's parents will be most appreciative of your efforts. Absolutely good to know. Awesome. Got her. the very, very much FBI bait off my ship. <laughs> Perfect. All right. Let's exit the Ebon Hawk. Um, there's a couple people who need to level up. So I might as well take Bastila with me, maybe? Because Mission's at level 10. Zalbar's at 9. I'm assuming everyone should be very much further higher level by now. Yes, I was correct. Okay, cool. Be dealing with that real quick. Whoop. Level up Bastila to... Hmm. Let's level up awareness a bit. Actually, you know what? Let's just level up both equally. Or I should focus more on treat injury. Yeah, I probably should. Feats. There was an update to the game recently. I don't know if it fixed the improved two-weapon fighting problem, though. I do know that the patch did fix the autosave bug. So maybe it fixed this, too. I do don't know, but there was a recent patch to the game fairly recently that might have fixed it. So, I don't know. I'm willing to bet yes. Honestly, I'm willing to bet yes. So, let's just do it and hope that it doesn't turn out to be a waste. <laughs> anyway. Um, let's have her learn Force Whirlwind. Perfect. There we go. Now, Jihani. She has a lot of catching up to do. She has two points to learn. Whoops. Whoopsie doopsie. Not how I wanted to do that. She can do it in Stealth and Awareness. I'm just going to focus on Awareness and Treat Injury for now. Stealth. I'm a little confused that she has stealth when it's a cross-class skill. Maybe it was when she was a kid before she became a Jedi or something like that. I don't know. Anywho, uh, feats. She doesn't really have any... any preemptive points in either one for either dueling or two-weapon fighting. So I could have her do really whatever I really wanted her to do. Um, which is, I guess, pretty good. Let's make her go to weapon fighting. That's it. That sounds good to me. Uh, also have her learn cure. Awesome. All right, so there's that. Another level up. Attributes. Uh, put more into strength for sure. Um, 
put some into awareness. And where should I put powers? Oh. That's right, she did learn a dark side power in slow. Because she did go dark side a little bit. Hmm. Hmm. Maybe she should learn stun droid. Yeah, that, that seems like a good idea. And then we have her in treat injury again. Good. Feats. Again, we do it into improve to weapon fighting. Just to increase that even further. And powers, we go... I guess we'll go Force Whirlwind for her too. Yeah, why not? Perfect. And for now, we can more or less freely jump between Jihani and uh, Bastila. If we decided we wanted to. Or we could have both. Have all melee users. That's an idea. It's not a great idea, but it's an idea. <laughs> anyway. Um, yeah. We could do that. Equip her with another lightsaber. Or maybe a vibroblade. That'd be an idea. Hmm. That would work. That would give her also some physical attack. So it's not all in energy like the rest of us. That would provide a little bit extra uh, versatility. True, true, very true. All right, um, let's put a cardio regulator on her. An oral amplifier. Nothing I can do there. Um, energy shield. And Mandalorian melee shield, maybe? Combo that. Sure. Um, I do like that my health and her health are relatively similar. Bastila's a little on the low side when it comes to that. I mean, I don't technically necessarily have to have Bastila with me on every fight, right? I could switch her out with a, another ranged person. Especially since Jahani seems to be more well-suited to uh, the whole melee thing. I mean, not stat-wise yet, but I mean, eventually. That's an idea. We'll have to see. But for now, thank you all so much for watching. Click the subscribe button if you like these videos and you want to see more. And click the like button if you like this particular video. I think I screwed up that outro. I think I did. Oh. Anyway. Thank you all so much for watching. Click the subscribe button if you like these videos and you want to see more. And click the like button if you like this particular video. And share in comments so we can bring more people into this community. We can talk about the games we're playing together. And I will see you all in the next episode. This has been the one and the only Stray Cat. Playing games and helping out a stowaway who was on my ship uh, get back to her family. Because if I kept her on my ship for any longer that would have been a little weird. Considering her age. I can feel the FBI, FBI uh, peering through my window already, in fact. Oh, wait, no, that's just a tree. <laughs> For you!